Hey everyone, it's RC. I'm going to start a YouTube channel regarding SNES games, and I don't know what we'll call this. Maybe SNES fun or fun with SNES. Um, so again, we're going to be opening up an SNES game every day, cleaning it, and then playing it for anywhere from two and a half minutes to five minutes, maybe longer, depending on how well I'm doing. Um, you can kind of see behind me that the all the SNES games um, and so uh, we'll start by just showing you the list of games and um, I think there's like 120 240 games right there um, so let's flip this around so again here's all the games so we have our first row here is starts with Mega Man X3 um, I know it's gonna be hard to see some of them um, and then so just, again, there's a lot of games, about 120, 140 of them. Some are in these plastic cases. Those are more recent additions. Um, so I don't know which game we're going to start off with today, but there's some really good spicy games here. Um, and then just leave a comment in the comments down below if you want to vote for next week's game i'll hopefully try to do this every monday ish um that'll be the goal so um and we'll likely use a super nt to play them or an original nintendo um i have both um, i'll put some links in the comments for um some descriptions on what i use um what i think is cool and so again there's a list of games. We also have a Super Game Boy or Super Boy uh, with Shadow Run right now in it. And then here's my few complete games um, in box. So for this first episode, we're going to use a random number generator to um, pick which game. Um, officially, I think the price charting app says 129 SNES games. Uh, I know I said maybe up to 140 back there but we'll just use 129 um and so we're hit the generate and it says 54 so we'll start up from the top here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine twenty ten twenty eleven twenty twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Of course, it would be the last one, but it's going to be this game, Peacekeepers, right here, that was pretty recent bought, um, probably within the last year. Um, so let me pause the video. All right, so here's our game that we're going to take apart. Um, so this is again Peacekeepers, it's a game by Jaleco. Um, I forget the year, but I'll put some um, information in the links. So we're going to just take our nifty little screwdriver. Uh, you can get a set of these on Amazon for pretty cheap, um, like 5 to 10 bucks, if not m around that. Um, and then, yeah, you can take these apart um, and compare it to what they're supposed to look like or what they're known to look like. So let me pause the video and I'll start taking these apart. Alright, we put, took a part. You can kind of see both sides there. Um, we're going to quickly, so it does look pretty dirty, so we'll give that a good cleaning. Um, here's the board side. Um, so it does look real to me, other than just looks really dirty and crummy, so we're going to kind of clean that up. Um, and so, and then we're going to throw it in the SNES or the Super NT. Um, and so, We'll just kind of, uh, my recommended cleaning is just some rubbing alcohol and either a um, Q-tip or um, there's some old school retro video game cleaning um, utensils. So I'll be right back and then um, I'll show you after it's cleaned. Well, I'm done cleaning it. It looks maybe a little better. I got some gunk off. Um, so we'll let it dry for a little bit and then I'm going to go set up the 
Super Nintendo and SNES uh, Super NT, and then also seal this back up. We'll see you in just a second. So instead of using the Super Nintendo, we're going to use this Super NT. Um, so it actually is super cool. Um, I'll link to Analog's webpage um, or like descriptions of their products. So um, the cool thing is like you can, it actually comes with like Super Turrican Director's Cut and Super Turrican 2 on there. You can also like run ROMs and emulators and stuff on it. I did, haven't set that up yet, but um, so right now we're just going to plug the cart in and run it. And boom. So Peacekeeper's working on the Super NT. Um, and then you can kind of see how it looks on the big screen TV um, versus the CR old CRT TVs from back in the day. Um, this was a two-player game. There's a, even a versus. Um, I've, I think I've only really ever played the story game. You pick your character. And it's very similar to those like beat em up games um, from the back in the day. Um, again, I'll just kind of play for a little bit. Get beat up. Well, so this is the game Peacekeepers. Um, please comment and subscribe. Um, if you have any other comments or what game you would like to see next week. Um, and then I hope you guys are all staying safe out there and please give me any feedback for next week's video and have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Bye.